What's up, everyone? Mike from What the Fun. This debate section is from our latest episode of Test Your Might, the weekly video game debate show. The full episode is found on any podcast app of choice with Apple and Spotify links down below. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Um, here we are, 1-1, one, one, third round. Round three. Uh, let's see. So, Mike won. Sharif, you get to choose to go first or second. What is your choice? I don't think it would be fun if I go first three times. So That's I'll right. Let Mike I, agree. Go first. I agree. Uh, well, Mike, it was just announced that Assassin's Creed Black Flag is getting a remake. What other Ubisoft property would benefit from a new coat of paint and fresh set of eyes? Yeah, um, I think... A lot of the easy answers are something in the Tom Clancy realm. I think like Ghost Recon has really been hit or miss, and more on the miss side as as far as uh, recent recent iterations of the game. Um, but I I really wanted to go with something that I think I think fans really really enjoy. The last game I played when it came to Xbox finally, because originally um, I never owned it, but it was a Wii U exclusive, I believe, originally um, from Ubisoft. And that is Rayman Legends. Um, Rayman oh, Legends. I, uh, okay. I got scared. I got I be- scared. <laughs> I believe that it was a Wii U exclusive. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, for a little while, and then it, it came was. to the other consoles. I did. I did hear that Wii U was sort of the definitive way to play it because of the touchpad controls right. and stuff like that. But still, when that game, uh, I I played that game when it came to uh, Xbox uh, Games with Gold, um, which is still a program that's around. I'm surprised. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I played it then, and I was floored. The 2D platforming, it felt so good. The environments were vibrant. They were really awesome. Um, so, sister, I know I, I know this might uh, dis- detour you from picking me. I don't know if Rayman needs a new coat of paint, but it certainly needs a new set of eyes. I think a lot of people do not know that Rayman Legends, the last iteration of Rayman, was is one of the best 2d platformers of all time i'll hang my hat on that like it's that good and so i think that given that given that this team is now working on that new prince of persia game and a lot of the prince of persia games in this 2d realm or this this new prince of persia looks pretty cool give them another crack at rayman rayman is a is I guess I can't say beloved. I don't know the zeitgeist around <laughs> Rayman, but Rayman is a well-known and well-liked character that had a great last outing. He could be brought back to a new set of eyes. All right. So Rayman Legends remastered, rebooted, remade. Yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> Re-Rayman. <laughs> And uh, well, with ray tracing, with Ooh, ray tracing, oh, come on, ray, come on, no. uh, ray <laughs> tracing legends, uh, Sharif, <laughs> what Ubisoft title are you bringing to this fight? Uh, Riders Republic, no, sorry, <laughs> nah, not Riders Republic. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, Riders Republic had a dope demo. I'm, I don't care it what did. anybody says. It they had a fun a demo. demo. Uh, I did not buy it, but it had a fun demo. It was it was um, on Game Pass for for a bit. Is it really? Was it? Yeah, I thought it was on that you play Plus or whatever. Oh, maybe but, I, I feel um, like I played it on Game you're Pass. You're subscribed but I do, to so many but, things. Right, you don't even know what you're playing I from. Ubisoft, <laughs> I do have Ubisoft Plus. So yeah, so, so uh, I yeah. got scared because I thought Mike was gonna say um, we talked about a we. I thought he was gonna say Red Steel. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Which was a very critically pan game, <laughs> yes. uh, not just because it had bad motion control, but the game itself was just bad. Um, but my pick is Red Steel, guys. What? I'll tell you why. All right. Let me tell you why, guys. The idea of Red Steel is awesome. It's like a mix between, it's kind of like. Um, uh, what was that movie um, that had Gun Kata in it? Red Oh, yeah. That, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. We were just talking about that. It was like a movie. Yeah, we were just... Where, like, uh, it was like uh, martial with, arts with guns. Tay, Tay Diggs and... Um, um, yeah, oh, it was crap. like... Uh, we were just I, talking I, I about that, that movie but, on this show. 
But John Red Wick? Steel, <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's like a cool mix of like equilibrium you know, of yeah, equilibrium of of like martial arts of like samurai stuff with swords and gunplay. I think it's a pretty fascinating mix of like genres, and I think that in with you know with modern gameplay elements and not relying on the Wii's crappy stuff. I think you could really make it into a cool game where you're like mixing like between those modes. Like you can choose like how you approach a, a situation. Like, do I want to go in with a sleek kind of samurai thing? Or like, do I want to go in, you, you know, like a, with like, you know, with a rock, with a assault rifle, right? Um, Deus Ex do, has done a little bit of that. Um, but they haven't gone like all, 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 all like in. I'm talking about something that combines like ghosts of like of like a Tashima with like you know you know with with um with like Call of Duty, right? So like you can kind of choose. I think it would be interesting. It's something that really hasn't been combined successfully. Um, but I do think that you know that like it. I think that it's it's a concept where if nailed, would be. It, it it would review really well, I think, if they nail it, because games media is like very like if there's a new idea that hits well, it like tends to do well. Um, and I think that Ubi gets a knack for you know um, kind of retreading like the same things. And while this would be a remake, um, it's a remake of a game that most that most people forgot or never played, or uh, you know it like definitely didn't get any love. Um, you know, um, and I I did play through it, and it was it was, it was very bad. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I want them to t- take t- to t- take this game with great ideas but awful execution, and actually execute it properly on on the on on new hardware. Uh, okay, well, Mike, um, Rayman Legends, uh, the remake is coming what new things are we going to add to this game that will you want um, new things okay. yeah 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 what what are we gonna what are we adding to the game that will bring new elements um and bring some next jenny or this jenny uh elements to <laughs> to that rayman game well, um, certainly, I'm still. I'm gonna go with the joke. Still, uh, right. there needs to be ray tracing. I mean, clearly. <laughs> um, <laughs> See, also, uh, on his, on also, um, also another joke. Uh, something that bit me in the butt last uh, last debate two weeks ago. Uh, there's gonna be online multiplayer here, and we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have online co-op, and you're gonna be able to <laughs> share designs or whatever. <laughs> uh, we're sharing designs now. I don't even. Know. <laughs> no. Um, but uh, I mean, even uh, even the shared designs fact, we could bring into like a sort of like a a two D level design feature, sort of like you know Mario Maker or something like that. Um, I think Rayman has a lot of interesting physics to him because, like, guys. I don't know if you know about this. He doesn't have any arms. He just has like hands. <laughs> They're just yeah. waving well, he doesn't around. Have any legs either. Like floating, yeah, yeah, he floating. just has feet. Um, yeah. So like, I think that I think that just like with new hardware, you're going to be able to capture sort of even more like uh, you know the, of the physics behind how Rayman moves. I mean. I haven't played on a PS5 controller yet, but like, think about the DualSense compatibility. Like, potentially some uh, really cool, like, physics-based stuff that you feel within the controller. Um, I yeah, I I don't know if you uh, like. Okay, um, Sharif, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt here. Is this a Switch in- exclusive that you're wanting to no. bring it back to? No. No. So you're getting rid of motion controls completely. Yes. Correct. Okay, so it does have to be reimagined. Okay, then then certainly I could see that. Um, I mean, I think that if you were to bring back the motion controls, I, th- I think it's going to be a lot harder to, um, you know, bring that to the modern era. Just because, from what I've heard, like even even games like Skyward Sword that was on that had the HD remake, like even the right stick controls weren't the best feeling still for the for the modern like Switch version where you didn't have to use motion controls. So, I think you're sort of like s- stuck in in a design space that could be very very hard to 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 overcome. Um, I 
I, I want you to understand also, Sharif, the disparity of our of our last outings here. Um, you've <laughs> you've already admitted that Red Steel is a bad game. We're we're looking at a sixty three on Metacritic, um, yeah, and we're bad. looking we're looking at a ninety for Rayman Legends. So I think that like, uh. Although although I have seen at least online on, in the Twitter space that Red Seal sort of has this like we cult following like I still think it would be much easier much better and especially since Ubisoft recently has not been happy with some of their selling um, of video games and you know in case of uh, Sparks of Hope I think Rayman Legends would have a much better place much better value to Ubisoft than a remake of Red Steel. All right. Well, uh, so Sharif, yeah, we uh, Mike asked the question that I was going to ask about whether or not the game uh, will have motion control. So, so we're reimagining the game. So, talk about that reimagining and how um, how we're not going to use these motion controls because this was a this. One of the reasons that people don't remember it is it was a Wii launch title. And by the time most people were able to receive their Wii, um, besides Wii Sports, they were on to whatever the newest titles were and weren't playing Red Steel, admittedly a bad game. So what new things are we going to have in this game that will make it distinct and better than the original version? Yeah, I mean, we don't, I'm not talking about a remake, like, I'm talking about a fully redesigned game using Re the idea of Red Steel. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, be, because remember, I think Red Steel has great ideas, but the execution was terrible. So, the thing about Mike's argument is Rayman Legends is already a good game. Like, it's already a great game. It doesn't really need much, of, it won't really benefit from... I mean, maybe a HD, like maybe like spruce up some of the graphics, but you don't really have to change much. So it's not really going to benefit from really having a fresh like set on it. Like like it might go from a 90 to a 92. You know, great. Right. Red Steel, <laughs> like if they take this like complete, like just crappy uh, executed game and they execute it even moderately. This game will go from a 63 to an 80, right? And remember, it says what other game would benefit most, right? I'm talking about benefit. Going from a 90 to a 95 or from a 63 to somewhere in the 80s, right? I think it's it's a harder challenge, but the bang for your buck, I think. Like the, ben the uh, benefit potential is off the charts. So you don't need motion control. Like we've had plenty of samurai games and games with swords in the past uh, five to 10 years that have been fine on a controller. You don't need, you know, I think that promise of Red Steel where, oh yeah, like your arm is the sword. Like it's not gonna happen in the game space that we have then or now. Um, so I think that the like distinctness will, will be, there's not a game that really successfully combines great gunplay with great sword play. Right. I would say, honestly, like the closest that I can think of, and it's not really a game, it's more of an extended tech demo, is super hot. Um, if you ever played that game, there are like many parts where like I, where like you, you could pick up a sword and a gun. It goes in like slow motion. You could like cut through bullets and like that kind of stuff. Right. That's the kind of stuff that I could see you doing in like a game like uh, this. Like imagine that like you go into like sort of a, you know, like you get into an, an engagement and you, and you, and you go, go into sort of like a, like a Max Payne bullet time or like a Bayonetta like witch time where like, where like you, you can choose, hey, either I'm slicing this up or I'm shooting this leg or I'm slicing this. Like, I feel like that kind of stuff could be awesome um, in, in, in this game. So I think that it would be a, a unique uh, you know, thing in the uh, gaming industry. And again, I, I think by the wording of the question, I think it would benefit best from a new coat of paint and a fresh set of eyes and already taking a great game and just boosting it up a little bit. All right. Well, Mike, what else could we do for your game 
to make it better than than Sharif's game. Yeah, I mean, I don't, uh, I don't disagree. Um, probably going to go from a 92 and 95 and I guess that's okay um, I'm also not talking about a, re- a remake of Legends by the way I think this might be just a new entry just bringing the character to the oh, forefront okay. here um, I I think the biggest thing uh, I also read the question slightly differently not that you read it's pretty verbatim but I did read it differently Um, In the way that what would also benefit Ubisoft specifically? Ubisoft is on the down right now. Uh, They are not doing hot as far as uh, games. I mean, Skull and Bones was supposed to release like eight times, um, you know, (laughs) within the past five years. So... Ubisoft is just on the down and out. And, And I think one of the saving graces of what Ubisoft recently revealed was that 2d prince of persia in these like smaller scale style games that will benefit them as a company as a whole so that's kind of where i was thinking about it is that like i was even going to bring child of light um to this debate as well which is a fantastic turn-based strategy uh 2d platformer um i love that game but it's it's sort of like it's sort of like these I don't want to call it fan service, but just these like smaller, like community focused games that could bl- uplift the brand of Ubisoft again. I almost argued Watch Dogs, but, and I really liked the original Watch Dogs, but everybody hates the protagonist, so who wants to play him again? You know, so I was just thinking about uh, a game that would bring Ubisoft up. Um, and, I th- and I think that uh, a, a proper. Uh, sequel to Rayman Legends would be good for the Ubisoft brand because the uh, the other part of this question here is that their best, arguably best Assassin's Creed game is going to be getting the remake here. So they're trying to just, again, rebuild their brand to a place that is as good with their community. And I think Rayman specifically can do that. Now, Red Steel, I think you are right critically 100% it will benefit better than my Rayman sequel Uh, but at the end of the day I don't think they're looking at Red Steel like that right now Um, I was I think I think that even when Cyberpunk 2077 was coming out I didn't I haven't played the game yet but I think you could do some gun and melee sword type builds there Mm -hmm. and so they probably did it good in CD Projekt Red so I don't know if we're necessarily in need of the Red Steel um, remake reboot whatever you want Um, probably not a remake because you said no motion controls but uh, Ubisoft as a whole is going to benefit better uh, from establishing good IPs again. <laughs> All right. Well, um, <laughs> Mike, you made a you made a great argument. Yeah. Um, Congratulations, Shreve. Yeah, you made a great <laughs> argument. IPs great again. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's why I let you go one more time, then Sharif. Because I wanted to see if there was an argument that you could make that would sway me a little, and you almost did it. You almost did oh. it. Um, but but Sharif's the 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 knockout blow was when Sharif said, "Hey, you can take a game that was a ninety and turn it into a ninety-two, and I can take this game that's a sixty-three and turn it into an 80. And I'm still playing a better game. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Well, and like an eighty is a mediocre. <laughs> right. Is like a. Right. A, a passable game, but you go from like awful to passable. Right. Yeah. No, no, I hear you. I yeah, hear you. I knew Sharif. that was going to win you the argument. So it's all good. Is, I try my best. Yeah. I try my best. Yeah. 